looking pretty bagged. Let's go. Might have a smile on my face, but it's not a good outcome. It is snapped. So. Welcome back to the channel guys. Uh, today I'm returning to a place that I've been to before and I actually made a video about coming here about 11 months ago I think it was. And I came here on a rainy day and I went up and down all these really steep hills and I got to a point where I thought it wasn't a good idea to continue going. But um, we've got really good weather today and I've aired down even lower. I think last time I went down to about 12. I've gone down to about 10 psi and nine and a half in the back. and. Uh, Today we've got dry track so it should be a lot less slippery. I was really struggling for traction last time. Um, but we're going to go and give it a go. And when we get to that section that I had to turn around in last time because it's dry now, I might actually give it a crack. So we're going to see when we get there what it's like, if it's changed, and if it's still similar to what it was. Um, hoping to give it a go. So let's go and check it out. Let's get on the road. Okay, so I've done a few uh, climbs that you might have seen in the last video. I'm trying to get a couple of similar shots so that you can uh, compare the difference between doing this in the dry and doing this in the, um, in the wet. Now, this is the same spot that I got to um, last time when I've got that huge climb that I barely made it up. I uh, had to scramble and just sit on the spot with the power down, letting the traction control figure it out. But we eventually got through and um, I'm going to try and set up the camera in the same spot and see if I can get the same angle as last time. So let's uh, do that.
All right, we made it. I reckon that was a fair bit easier than last time. It seemed that way anyway. I um, went maybe with a little bit of momentum and just had a bit of a better line, but the, uh, the track itself is pretty rocky and, and gnarly. So yeah, I'll show you. But, yeah, there's nothing too bad, but it's uh, pretty slippery. This sort of rock stuff here, it's all just very, very loose. But uh, with low tire pressures and a little bit of momentum, the right line, we got up here, no dramas. Bloody ripper dipper. Almost feels like a bit of a deja vu. Coming back up this hill, all out of breath, <laughs> and seeing the little Subi parked up. On to the next thing, we've got to get to that spot, had to turn around. That's the main aim for this. That's the main aim for this video, so let's do that. Okay, so we're back at the spot, the spot that I had to turn around in last time. I've got the, uh, I've got the car parked up, cooling down, bonnet open just to let the hot air out, just so there's less heat soak on the uh, intercooler. And we're back at the climb. We're gonna give it a crack today. It's, um, it's dry, so it's not as slippery. It's still very shaly, so slippery nonetheless, but not wet and shaly at the same time. But, We'll see how we go when we uh, get to this difficult section here. I think I'm going to try and cross over right here. And as we go up the hill, uh, try and hang to the right hand side, cross over to the left as that little uh, section of rocks opens up across there and then up onto the next platform and see how we how we get along pretty big rock steps so we're going to try and avoid these okay so what i'm going to do is air down even further i'm going to go to um, I'm actually showing 11 psi on this gauge now. The tires might have warmed up a little bit, um, but also a bit of a discrepancy between the gauges is pretty common. I think this one's more accurate than my deflator, and it's digital, so I'll air down to maybe um, 9.5 in the front, and maybe 8 or uh, 8.5 in the rear, or something like that. So I ended up going down to 9 in the front, and. It's a bit of a uh, catch-22 because although it um, gives you more traction, obviously the lower your tyre pressures are, the lower the vehicle drops down, so you do have less clearance. But with this stuff, it is uh, going to be a matter of picking the right line because there is some big rocks there. Um, but with the, with the traction, that's the most important thing for me because I don't have any lockers, just open diffs. And we'll try and pick the right line. And if we scrape on something, then hopefully it's not too bad. So we've gone down to nine in the front. We'll do... Uh, 8.5 in the rear, I reckon. Party starts at 8, as they say, but we're going down just above 8. It's not any beadlock, but with the B-grip technology, I do have more faith in these than standard wheels with no B-grip technology. Okay, that's us. 9 in the front. Eight in the back, or 8.5. They're looking pretty bagged, let's go. All right, so we've got everything set up, ready to go. I'm gonna attack the climb and do it in sections. I'll move the camera as I go, 
and try and capture it all um, as best as I can. But it's pretty difficult, obviously, getting it out of the car when you're on a when you're on a difficult slope like that. But I'll do my best, and um, yeah, we'll we'll just see you at the top. Hopefully, hopefully I don't break my car, and hopefully make it up in one piece. But let's give it a crack. I'm pretty excited, pretty nervous as well. Let's go though. Okay guys, quick little voice over here. This is my first attempt to this climb out of three attempts. Now you'll see I had little to no chance of getting through. Basically my wheels dropped down into the deep ruts and I high centered the diff and the bottom of the toe hitch on the uh, high point of the ruts. So it was basically like anchor as my front wheels were trying to go up the hill. Uh, I was pushing that down further into the ruts. It was basically leveraging the tow hitch and the, the uh, rear diff into the top of that rut and pushing my rear wheels off the ground. I had a, another go, took a slightly better line, just readjusted and almost made it, almost made it through but didn't quite get there. Now, for my third attempt, this is where things go catastrophically wrong. You'll see there, there's a solid hit on the rear end, and I keep accelerating a little bit, but the control arm has already snapped and as I accelerate further the rear left hand tire is pushed further out which results in the drive shaft getting pulled out of the diff so at this stage because it's open rear diff I essentially am front wheel drive but open front diffs as well so the front left tire is hanging in the air just spinning freely so I wasn't going anywhere in a hurry I didn't realize I'd broken my car at this stage I thought I was just hung up so I jumped out to assess things and after having a little nosy around, I realized that I was in a quite a bit of strife. Okay, well, I might have a smile on my face, but it's not a good outcome. You've probably already seen it, uh, what happened, and let's just say it doesn't look good. I'll take you up and show you what happened. Okay, now, you might have seen already, I'm not sure if I could show it, but um, I did hit the ground when I was trying to transition across these ruts, but I mean, it was, it was pretty hard hit, but it wasn't too bad. But unfortunately, there's a weak point in my rear control arms and it has snapped. So I now have a fully six stanced carbro. Now this is not great. I'm on a pretty steep hill. And yeah. can see in there my control arm is hanging off not where it's meant to be this has happened before too it's not the first time it's the rally tech control arms which I actually really like but unfortunately that's a weak point of them that point where the um, control arm attaches to the subframe of the car now, they have made a revision and made it stronger in the new ones, but unfortunately, I've got the originals and they've let me down twice now. So, we'll try and get out of this predicament, but I don't know how I'm going to do that. 
I'm just going to uh, sit back and assess the situation. Might have to get some friends to come and get me. Um, we'll see. I might be able to get out of it by myself. I do have some spare bolts to fix the control arms, but it might not be a possible fix right now. So, we'll, we'll keep you updated. Okay, so there's the car, looking like a sick giraffe, and uh, we're getting some ratchet straps, two and a half tons each, so five tons of ratchet strap power, and we've got the extension line that's too long, might have to double it up. <laughs> so yep, yeah, we've got the strap set up, hooked up to the tree, and we've got these five ton ratchet straps, well two and a half ton, but two of them, ratchet straps, and we're going to hook them up to the front of the car and straighten it up and get it hanging off the straps so that I can jack up this rear end of it without worrying about it rolling down the hill while I'm working on it so I'll uh, set the camera up in a bit and show you I'm just wondering if I should connect to the actual control arms instead of the uh because they're just little tie down points, they're not that strong. I reckon I should do that. Um, well, it's, it's spread across both. Yeah, no, it's, it's probably fine. It should be fine. They're not recovery points. They're literally just welded on tabs for tying it down while it's in shipping. Mm. Um, so, going around the control arms, I'll just have a quick look underneath. I think I should do it, dude. Yep. I'll loosen it off. Thanks. Just stay there. Cool. Are you good? Yeah, it's actually not bad. Do you want me to put some tension on it? Ah, uh, yep. There's your best bet. Yeah. In terms of it Threaded. Yeah. So it fits in the back of the car. All right. Yeah, back in the bush. Where are ya? Just near my joint. But he's having a bit of fun, were ya? I wasn't. Monty was. <laughs> and then I got a call when, as I was ready, as I was getting ready to go to the pub. I thought he was calling me to say, yeah, I'm on my way. And instead it's, I've got my control arm snapped. <laughs> Come help me. <laughs> I was like, God damn it, can't we do it tomorrow? I want to go to the pub. <laughs> <laughs> well, the pub's in the bush tonight, mate. Yeah, it feels like it. 
the pub's chockers anyway. Yeah, well, he's broken it before, so he knows what's up. Okay, so it's um, it's done. We got it. We got it up. Yeah, wheels off. He's he's wrenching. <laughs> I'll, see, I'll see if I can get you on lock. Hey boys. Hey bro. Hey boys. <laughs> we we went home and went home and got picked it all up. Thanks, boys. <laughs> well, I suppose I'll catch you, boys. Uh... How's it going? Has you got the control arm off yet? Pretty close. Pretty Pretty close. One, one bolt left. And then you oh, one in, so I reckon yeah. I reckon we'll be out of here in 40 minutes. Good luck, we'll call you in two hours and we'll check in. See ya. <laughs> See you boys. I'm sweating like a pig in a spa. My um, drive shaft's popped out of the Thing. No, 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 it's fine. It's, it just pops out and pops in. It's just friction, friction fit. Alright. Yeah. <laughs> Might have broken the drive shaft completely. I I be, yeah, and I don't have a broker bar here. And this, it's tall. Well, you can use this. Yeah, I have done that before. Put it over this, which is a bit dodgy. But no, this is the problem right here. Turning, handbrake. Yep, 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 just wriggle down a little bit. Yeah. Alright. That'll help support it a bit. Let's see. Oh. This now. Just give me two seconds. I'll just get it. Okay. Okay, that's gonna work. I'll get down the rim. Just take some away. Tell me when you want to lift. Now, so we've got to get up the hill. No. <laughs> joking, you're joking. I'm joking, but I'm a bit back. Where's the little screw for this guy? Uh, it's in the. Put that all the way in. <sighs> we did it, bro! Handbrakes on, yep. Yeah.
It will move probably. Just get your shovel. Yeah, it will probably move a bit, but it'll stop eventually. Hang on one sec. I'm gonna change the angle of this. There's so much load on there. Yeah, well, I might have to like drive forward a bit to loosen up the tension on them. Or try to. Yeah, it's not coming. No. I've got this rock out. Right, nice. So just try it again. Awkward as, but I couldn't get onto the weight onto my tyres. Oh, no. All right, we're good now. We're good. I finally got it sorted. Got it out. Thanks to this guy helping me out, Big Trito. Sun's going down. The hill survives another day to be conquered. Conquered me today, but we'll be back next time. I'm gonna have to try and go up hill a bit first. There we go, bro. I'm not gonna go fine. Don't snap anything else, bro. I don't know. I'll try not to. Let's go Bandicoot! Alrighty, thanks for watching guys. If you made it this far in the video, thank you very much for sticking around. It's a bit of a longer video. I hope you enjoyed it. If you did like what you saw, please do leave a thumbs up. It will help out the algorithm. And if you'd like to see more of this sort of stuff, uh, consider subscribing and I'll try and put some more videos out shortly. But uh, thanks again. Hope you enjoyed it. Cheers.